Hey everyone, we have Ai Ching here all the way from Penang. She is the co-founder of PictoChat and recently Picto Story. And today she's going to share with us a few tips on how to repurpose your webinar content. Yeah. Hey, Bob, thanks for having me. So um, to jump straight into the topic itself, like lots of us have been creating webinars for sure. So these are some ways that we have tried, some ways we've not started trying yet. So I'll, I'll just be very honest on that. So one of the ways is that, you know, in webinars, there's a lot of like good, you know, information advice um, that has been shared. So why not turn it into a blog post? So out of the, you can even from a webinar, like, you know, get um, the transcription of that particular, uh, you know, audio file, video file, and then turn it into a blog post, edit it a little, of course, and then, you know, turn it into a, quite a compelling blog post. So that's like one way. Mm -hmm. um, another way that's quite common is that because a, a webinar is, uh, you know, with video and all that kind of stuff, but you can also shorten it, edit it, um, and turn it into an audio file. So you just have purely like a podcast, oh. um, essentially. And you can, again, you know, like it's another format for you to like uh, go ahead and try it out. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing that I always think that for webinars, it is the live webinar is very valuable because people get to interact with the host, right? And what they're talking about. But don't forget replays as well. So even for us, like, there was one particular webinar that we had like, I cannot remember how many, like hundreds of signups and et cetera. And then about like a hundred plus people turn up for the webinar, but we put it on our site and we actually promoted the replay of that particular webinar content. And the replay got like over, you know, like two times more views than the actual like um, webinar itself. So like, don't forget that that actual, you know, video files actually good itself. The other one is obviously for social media. So I'm, um, we're right now trying to use uh, social media more and more and, you know, trying to put out like valuable content. The thing is you can't put a like one hour webinar on social media. Nobody will watch it. I, I wouldn't do it. So um, with that, like we've also built a tool recently. It's called Picto Story. It enables you. So what, it, what happens is you upload your webinar file or you pull it from Zoom or Google Drive, wherever you store your webinar file. And then you can actually put it uh, it will auto transcribe and then you can highlight the parts that are most important to you and mm. then export that for social media. So like one, two minutes or three minutes, you know, long type of uh, uh, video files and then you can put that on social media, schedule that. So you have lots of content just from one webinar. Oh, so, yeah, it's it's a good way. And what, what editing is possible with uh, Pito Story? Right now, it's still pretty basic. So we're, you know, we're on beta. So it allows you to, um, like, after it's transcribed, so you see it on your left screen, like you will oh. see uh, text, you know, like what, like as we're talking right now, you're like literally write down like as oh, we're talking okay. right now. And then um, on the right side, you have the video preview. So what happens is that you can just cut out the parts, you know, because mm -hmm. your webinar could be really long. You just want to cut out the parts that are really important. And then, you know, like Gary V style, yeah, yeah. like Gary V has that type of thing, right? Like <laughs> he has like videos and then like captions at the bottom and it's only about one minute long. So the idea is to create this type of videos. They're quite engaging and you don't need to come out with additional content. You already have them through your webinars. Yeah. And you know, when, when you're doing a webinar, it's unlike uh, a natural way where you pick up the phone to talk about something important, right? Yeah. It's like you are in the middle of a heated conversation and you can pick yeah. up that specific part where maybe it's a strong talking point or it's a heated discussion. That's right. That's right. So yeah, yeah the, the key is I think just to find like which parts are most, you know, like salient. Mm. Um, I've seen a couple of people, like I said, Gary V uses this a lot. Um, Simon Sinek actually in his talks, he likes to do that also one to two minutes of him, you know, drawing something on the whiteboard. And he puts it out a lot on his LinkedIn and Twitter and all that. So mm. um, a couple of, you know, like, uh, how do I put it? Influencers are already doing it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I think before we go, how can we find Picto Story? Oh, good question. Okay. So very simple. Picto, so P-I-K-T-O, story.com. Um, mm. And it's uh, all for free right now. And, you know, you can sign up and basically upload your videos and give that a try. So yeah, everyone, please check it out and please repurpose and make the full use of your webinar content. So thanks so much, Ai Ching. No problem. Thanks for having me.